crowning a hat with a fleece decor. For felting a hat, I used 50 grams of laster lamb fleece with from 8 to 9 cm curls. I also used 20 grams of 19 micron merino wool from the Walknell factory of natural grey color, 2 steel IKEA balls with 20 and 28 cm in diameter. Take a larger bowl and make a circle with a tape at a distance of 12 cm from the edge. Draw a circle on the mesh with a marker around the small bowl. This is the border where I will lay out the fleece. I insert the fleece curls into the holes at a distance of one cell from each other, leaving a fluffy tail, somewhere about 3 cm, and filling the whole circle with curls. If your curls are thicker, Put them in two or three cells distance. I slightly rub these fluffy ends to connect them together. I draw a large circle on the mesh to mark the wool layout area. I lay out single curls to create a smooth transition, then moisten the layout. Don't add a lot of soapy water, add it gradually. I lay out wool on fleece in clouds. I used 4 grams of wool here. Next, I lay out the wool around the circle, tangentially to the circle. I make two crossing layers. If you decide to make a hat on a template, then you need to expand the circle a little more, but I decided to try this option. Therefore, I try the ball, so I have enough wool to bend it on the ball later. Wet it well through the net. Felt it in a plane in order to adhere wool with the ends of the curls. Do not felt the wool on the edges. Leave about 2 cm from the edge.
Mark the fleece area in order to put the ball symmetrically. Bend the protruding wool on the ball. Try to smooth out the folds so that everything is thin and sticks to the ball. If you use a template, then just bend the allowance on the template and do as if you were laying out a beret. Lay out the wool. Make two crossing layers of diagonal layout up to the border marked with tape. Gently wet the layout and felt it through the mesh with such finger movements to connect all the fibers. Before felting, I straightened the edge by bending it onto the main canvas. You can insert a thin elastic band here if you wish. The diameter of this circle is 20 cm. I do massage movements with my fingertips to connect the fibers. Lift the net from time to time so it won't fall to the wool. When all the fibers are entangled, I slightly stretch the wool and take the ball out. If you did it on the template, take away the template and continue felting. Since the mesh is textured, everything felts pretty quickly. I combine the movements with strong pressure and everything felts well. I felt the bottom of the hat in the direction in which I wanted to shrink in size.
When the canvas is quite stable, I carefully remove the curls from the holes. With this method, even the fluffy curls become glossy and beautiful. I stretch the canvas along the length and shrink it. Try not to felt the curls to avoid tangling. Pour apple vinegar into a bowl of hot water and rinse out the product. Add fresh soap. And continue felting until you get the desirable size. The size of the hat I got is 56. If you need a larger size, then you need to take more wool or a bigger template. I shape the top of the head with my fist and continue felting. Alternate felting in the plane and felting in volume. Rub the wrong side of the top of the head, where the curls are, against the mesh. I shape it on a rubber ball, but if you have a head block, you can do this on it. After rinsing, I added some hair conditioner to the water and rinsed the hat again, wrapped it in a towel to remove the excess moisture. I shaped the hat on my head and then left it to dry on a ball. The weight of the dry ready-made hat is 60 grams. It turned out to be quite light and warm at the same time. By changing the quality and quantity of materials, you can get different hat options. Mm -hmm. 